so in popular culture we have discussed nursery rhymes and fairy tales and now we discuss another product of popular culture that is tv plays tv is mass media and popular culture is mass culture the things common to masses jo awam mein cheeze common hai this is awami media tv is awami media technology used to communicate with masses and public so we call it mass media in pakistan if we definitely we would talk about pakistan in 1960s tv came in 1964 so in 1960s the whole decade tv plays were shown for education and family entertainment remember the term family entertainment the programs which you can watch in presence of other members of family the moral and cultural norms of the society they were dominant themes of these uh, tv plays the plays promoted conservative image of women and male superiority and power the same cultural norms they were being promoted through these plays i have objection to the term conservative what we are calling conservative it doesn't mean that uh, we, we follow something that is uh, out of date that is uh, uh, old fashioned that is obsolete and uh, no not like that we are not kadamat person when we follow our norms moral values and cultures i would discuss it at some other place these dramas present women and this is true the dramas of this period 1960s they presented women in secondary roles in sanvi roles in other words in the androcentric plots andro means man gyni means woman and andro means man androcentric again male centeredness you are aware of this term we have already defined it and plot in drama means the organization of events in the drama okay Uh, this is definition of plot here plot means selection and new organization of events in a story we have a story but the author can reorganize events and uh, uh, a new sequence creates what is called plot so it means there is difference between story and plot but we should never confuse and the point is that it is right that uh, ptv dramas of 1960s they most of the times propagated male superiority and traditional views about uh, gender okay this is true but we should never confuse islamic values with regressive cultural values that uh, the same point that i postponed i uh, i am referring to it again regression is opposite of progression progress aage jana regress piche aana so if our cultural values lead us backwards so it doesn't mean they relate with islam our culture is not fully islamic Indian culture dominates our ways of life. We have been part of India, you know, the history of Pakistan. So we have brought many of our cultural norms and values from India, not from Islam. So keep them apart. Number one, before you conclude any 
thing about these PTV dramas. Some male and female playwrights promoted traditional local values. The local values which are part of our culture, not religion. And some focused on Islamic values about gender roles. So this was true representation of a culture where majority of the population follows Islam. So some PTV dramas were also doing this. For example, Ashwag Ahmed, Banu Kutsiya, largely their dramas conveyed Islamic values, Islamic traditions about gender. Uh, Amjad Islam Amjad, Fatma Bajia, Hasina Moin, uh, these playwrights, they largely focused on popular culture, local uh, values. Okay. Uh, see, these are the images of these great writers, playwrights of Pakistan. On my uh, left side is Ashfaq Ahmed and uh, on right side, his wife, Banu Kutsia. Both were great writers. Amjad Islam Amjad on my right side and uh, Hasina Moin on my left side. They are their images. I have a task for you. This is a website where you can watch uh, one or two episodes of Varis. Uh, this was the famous play uh, by Amjad Islam Amjad. And uh, another website, uh, it is uh, uh, about Ek Mohabbat So Afsane. It was written by Ashwak Ahmed. So watch any of these PTV plays, what kind of gender stereotyping is presented in each of these? Okay, watch both PTV plays. So replace this any with both because for comparison, you have to watch both. So watch both of these PTV plays. What kind of gender stereotyping is presented in each of these plays. This is your task. We conclude that popular media like TV has been used to promote gender norms of Pakistani society of 1960s. Because Pakistani society, its cultural values and norms have gone undergone a lot of changes because of global and uh, cultural uh, effects and movements.